everybody. This is Brian Kirk with Eat to My Own Beat, Taking the Road Less Traveled, with a Flags and Anthems episode. This one is episode number four, five. This one we're doing Angola. So we're going to talk about the anthem first. The anthem of Angola is called Angola Avante. Angola Avante, or onwards Angola in English, is the anthem of the na- national anthem of Angola. Rui Alberto Vieira Diaz Minguez composed the music, but the lyrics were authored by Manuel Ru Alves Montero. It was adopted as the national anthem in November 1975, when the country gained independence from Portugal. The lyrics made reference to several key el- events of the People's Movement of Liberation of Angola, which had been in power since the independence and the only party in Angola since 19 until 1992. Angola Avante was composed by Rui Alberto Vieira Diaz Mingas. The lyrics of the song was penned by Rui, author who studied Humbao and is affiliated with both the country's writer union and union of artists and composers. He is one of the best-selling writers in the capital city, Luanda. According to an informal survey conducted in two, January, July 2003, and writes about everyday life in the country using satire and irony. The song was officially designated as the country's national anthem in 1975, when the country gained independence on November 11th of that year. It is enshrined under Article 164 of the Constitution of Angola. Proposed changes. Its lyrics referred to several key events in history of the MPLA. However, this has been rendered obsolete since, obsolete since the end of the one-party state in 1992. As a result, there have been efforts to modify the national anthem, along with other national symbols. However, none of them have come to fruition, and the anthem remains unchanged as of 2014. Here are the English lyrics. O Fatherland, we shall never forget, the heroes of the 4th of February. Our Fatherland will salute your children who died for our independence. We honor the past in our country, as by our work and build the new man. Forward Angola, revolution through the power of the people, of united country, freedom, one people, one nation. Let us raise our liberated voices for the glory of the peoples of Africa. We shall march Angolan fighters in a solidarity with oppressed peoples. We shall fight proudly for peace, along with the progressive forces of the world. And then the chorus, Forward Angola, revolution through the power of the people, a united country, freedom of one people, one nation. The name of the national anthem is used by the nickname for an inter-community associated football competition held to boost sports and activities in Angola and among people in the Portuguese-speaking African countries living in Portugal. Hosted in Portugal in 2011 and 2013, the latter tournament featured teams from Brazil, Mozambique, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau, Sao Tome, and Principe. The 2011 sporting event coincided with and honored the 36th anniversary of the independence of Angola. So that's the anthem. We will play that right after the, we're done this episode. Now we're going to talk about the flag. The national flag of Angola came into use when the Angolan gained independence in November 11, 1975. It is split horizontally in the upper red half and lower black half with an emblem resting in the center. It features features a half yellow gear wheel crossed by a machete and crowned with a star. The Angolan flag is based on the flag of the popular movement of the liberation of Angola, the MPLA, which fought Portuguese colonial rule and emerged as the ruling party of Angola following the Angolan Civil War. The MPLA flag is similar to the flag of Angola, but features a star in the place of the central emblem. The national flag of Angola has two horizontal bands, red and black, with a machete and gear emblem in the gold, and the center con- consisted of five pointed star with a half gear wheel crossed by a machete resembling hammer and sickle used on the Soviet flag. As outlined in the Constitution of Angola, the red half of the flag signifies bloodshed during the Angola's colonial period. Independent struggle and the defense of the country. The black half symbolizes Africa in the central emblem. The gear represents the industrial workers and production. The machete represents pe- peasantry, agricultural production, and the armed struggle 
and the star, shaped like the red star, symbolizes the international solidarity and progress. The yellow color of the emblem symbolizes the country's wealth. The Constitution of 1975 described the red stripes as symbolizing bloodshed during the colonial period, national liberation, and revolution. In reference to the revolution and replaced with the defense of the country. In the Constitution of 1992, it is in other changes of wording between the 1975 and 92 versions, the star was changed from a symbol of internationalism to an international solidarity. Reference to the working class and peasant class were replaced with workers and peasants. In 2003, an a new, more optimistic flag was proposed by Parliament's Constitutional Commission of the National Assembly and Golan Parliament, but it was not adopted. The sun design in the middle is meant to rem be reminiscent of cave paintings found in Tichito Kulu Cave. The flag maintained the same flag proportions of two to three. We will have the flag of Angola as well as the proposed flag that they did in 2003. And uh, that is the episode for episode number five for Angola on flags and anthems. Till next time. Oh, if you like these videos and have a chance to subscribe, it would be great if you like to subscribe to these videos. And until next time, keep eating your own beat, take the road less traveled, and have a great day. On to the anthem.